I find out that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risk. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said that there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that is less than the one you're capable of. I am sure your experiences in life and school and work as well as all you do in life. I am sure people who love you have always tell you to make sure you have something to fall back on. They may say it this way. Make sure you have something to fall back on, honey. Please do. <laughs> But I don't understand that concept. I don't still get it. Having something to fall back on. If I want to fall, apart from my fate, I don't want to fall back. I want to fall forward. At least this way, I am going to see what I may be hitting with my head. The point is, fall forward. Here's what I mean. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career as a baseball player. But none of us remember the strikeout. We all remember the home runs. The point is, fall forward. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 fade experiments. Did you know that? Because I didn't until I made the research. Do you know why? Because his 1001 was his light bulb. The point is, fall forward. Every failed experiment you see and heard of or discovered is a step this to a new discovery. Realize it right now. You got to take risk. And I'm sure this is not the first time you're hearing this. You probably heard it before. But here is why it is important. First, you will fail. You will lose it. You will fail. Your relationship will fail. Your marriage will fail. You will lose your job. You will lose the contract. You will lose your mind. You will lose it all. You will lose your credibility. You will lose your partnership. You will lose the gig. You will lose your house. You will lose your car. You will fail. You will fail. You will embarrass yourself. You will make fun of yourself. People will say, oh Lord, I never believed he could be this dumb. You will fail. And I know this is not a traditional message for someone like you listening to me, whoever you may be, a CEO, a manager, a governor, a um, person with a high status. I know it's not a traditional, it's not what you hear every day, but believe it, you will fail. You have to face it. You can't run from it. It is coming. Look at it. It's close to you. You will fail. When I started my path in public speaking, this has been about nine years ago, where we have four contestants still standing, trying to win the prize in public speaking. I spoke and I spoke and I spoke with energy, with drive, with riddles, in spirit. Oh my God, you need to see me then. I was hustling this prize. I was trying to win. Guess what? I failed. I was filtered out. I was filtered out with no compensation. Oh Lord. And my last word was, this isn't fair. <laughs> this isn't fair. Who cares? I failed and I failed. But here's the thing. I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I walked out of that stage And I kept working on myself. I kept working on my strategy. I kept working on my mindset. I prayed. I prayed and I prayed. 
and I continue to work on my dreams. But here's the thing. Because you start you working on your dream doesn't mean you won't fail. <laughs> I kept failing and failing and failing. But I didn't quit. Because it didn't matter. Because there's an old saying that I heard that if you hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later, you will get a haircut. Well, you can try this and see how it works. Last year, a lady wrote me from Kuwait. She wrote me a message that was aspiring and inspiring. If you mean, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> There is something going up in here, up in here. <laughs> well, she said that my message changed her life. She said, at that point, her mind was in a cave that was buried in a tomb that was buried in a warehouse that was buried in the dark. But my message rescued her. It was a rope of hope that she could hold up when nothing was looking real for her, when nothing was looking good, when she could see no light in the end of the tunnel, all she saw was the rope. She held on to that rope, that message, that she could do it, that she could make it. Now she's okay. And she said, I didn't for not for that message. She don't, she, she doesn't really know what her life could really be right now. The point is, I may have failed severally, but because I didn't quit, my success, my wins worth it. Fall forward. Everyone listening to me right now has the ability, the capacity, the drive, the energy, all it takes to win, to succeed. Everyone, anyone listening to me right now, you have it. I know you have it. And you know deep down in you, deep down in you, up there, you have the ability to win. But do you have the guts to fail? Do you have the tenacity, the capacity to handle failure, to move on in the face of failure? When everything is falling apart, do you have the tenacity, the ability, the energy to wake up every morning and keep working on your dream? Can you keep working on your goals? You lost your parents. You lost your spouse. She said she can't be with you no more. He said, I am done with this relationship. And this is all you've got. This is the life you've always wanted. Or they said, we have to let you go. Yeah. After working for 40 years. This is sorry, you got to take a, your severance pay and you have to go. We have to let you go. We cannot pay you no more. Can you keep working in your dream? Can you keep moving despite your failures? Despite the, the, the darkness we see around us today. Can you keep working on your dream? The doctor said you have just two years to leave. Can you keep working on your dream? Can you? Here's something else. If you don't fail, it simply means you're not even trying. I'll repeat that. If you don't fail, if you don't fail in your education, you don't fail in your examination, you don't fail in your job, you don't fail in your career, 
You don't fail in the project. You don't fail in the lessons. You don't fail in the gym. You don't fail in your relationship. It simply means you are not even trying. Here's what Les Brown said. He said that if you want to have something that you never had, you must do something you never did. If you want the kind of life that you want in your head, in your imagination, you have to do something that you have never done. Lastly, understand that life is a playground for children under 18. And know that life is a battleground for adults of 18 and above. The moment you cross the line of 17 and 18, you moved into a battleground. Children, kids will always be kids. They can do the wrong thing and the right thing will take it for it. In fact, they don't even have the wrong thing. They always have the right thing. They play morning and night. Playground. Life is a playground for them. Every day is a holiday for them. But for adults, those with responsibilities, life is a battleground. So many kind of wars we have to fight in life. Emotional, physical, financial, spiritual, economical, psychological, and so many kind of wars will come. When you think life is just, is just perfect. When you think, aha, this is the time I've been waiting for. Now I've got a place for myself. Then life will come and say, oh yeah, up in here, up in here, oh behave. <laughs> life will come. It will attack you from the blind side. Because no robber robs a house that is empty. No thief snatches a bag that is empty. Face it. Challenges will come. Hard time will come. Because life is a battleground. But when all these challenges in life make you fall, when all these hard times and ridicules and all these moments you've never thought, you've never imagined, come and they make you fall. Hello, they will make you fall. Life will bring you to your knees. Life will knock you down. At least don't be sitting while you get knocked down. Be standing and get knocked down. At least you will know why you're falling. Life will knock you down. Don't stay down there. Rise. When life knocks you down, use that potential hardship to grow. When life knocks you down, don't lay flat on the floor. Don't lay with your back on the ground. Fall forward. When life knocks you down, use it as an adventure, as an avenue to grow. When life keeps you homeless, when life ends your relationship, when life brings you back, when life starts you over, when life brings you to your knee, fall forward. Surprise life. As it brings you down, you triple what you've lost. You multiply what it took from you. Don't respond with life by trying to get what it takes from you. Get more that it took, that it, it is taking from you, that it will take from you, that it took from you, 
that it will take from you. Get more than that. There's a little boy who was called mentally mentally a derived or mentally distracted or what do you call it, TMI. And uh, he went to his teacher. Was He was crying to his teacher. He said, they've been saying that I can think for myself. They've been saying, oh, that I'm so dumb. I'm the dumb twin. And do you know what the teacher said? The teacher said, then why are you so concerned about it? He said, I feel like fighting. I want to beat them off when they, when they say that. Here's what the teacher said. He said, young man, listen to me. The best revenge is massive success. When life knock you down, when life put you to your knee, when life try to take everything from you, your best fight is massive success. Win massively. That is how you win. The only way you can win is fall forward. Fall forward. Don't give it up. Don't let life put you in a position. Don't be a victim of situation. Always fall forward. This is Alex Mason Podcast, and I hope you always fall forward. And if you get to a point where you can just figure it out, listen to this tape and fall forward.